Welcome to Made in Pool. My name is Jia Xin Zhang, and this is my second video essay for Combo 342 viral video. This video essay will be divided into five sections in total, and in each part there will be both academic theories and comparing as well as contrasting previous group work. In the first part, the contagious characteristics of previous work will be analyzed. Secondly, an analysis of general characteristics will be drawn including how these characteristics were applied and the actual effect they caused. Next, a reflection of the teamwork and leadership during the practice will be given, in which there will also be a discussion of each member's role during the cooperation from personal perspectives. The analysis of social media promotion and the key influencers will be provided in the following section, specifically focused on discussing the channels and the strategies that were selected and adopted. Finally, there will be a general reflection of personal development of skills and knowledge throughout this module, following by the action points for further development. Before I move into these sections, I will give you some general information about the two group videos we produced previously. The first group task was to produce a promotional video for Clinical Skills Learning and Teaching Center at University of Liverpool. Our first group video adopted the game show format in which three blindfolded students contestants competed for thorough hygienic hand washing using alif techniques and germ gel. The winner also performed an examination on the patient. The video's name is Hygiene Game, which was a word play on the Hunger Game. The second task was to produce a video of a local sonic spot of Liverpool, which is called the Friend of Williamson's Tunnel. The Friend of Williamson's Tunnel is a volunteer organization, and in the past few years, the volunteers were consistently focusing on exploring the local history by digging up the tunnels. One of the difficulties they faced was there was few young volunteers joining them. Our video adopted the format of vlog in which the presenter experienced the work as a volunteer. During the pre-production procedure, especially in the script writing and storyboard designing, Berger's staff framework of contagious characteristics was seriously thought. In the original pitch of the first video, only three of these characteristics were included. There are social currents, triggers, and practical value. Actually, the final video achieved emotional characteristic as well. Firstly, the social currency was so highly achieved as our video leveraged a game mechanic of funny competition. Moreover, the presenter Hannah had really a awesome performance that made the video even more interesting and entertaining, and potentially increased the audience's wellness of shared it. Meanwhile, we added some viral effects such as timer, tick, and cross, as well as sound effects like arrow tune to make it more like a traditional game show. The second contagious characteristic is trigger. The main content of the competition is about hand washing, which is such a common behavior that most individuals are likely to repeat the process several times every single day. It is easy to attract and close related to general audiences. Thirdly, the video also satisfied characteristic of practical value, not only by showing the correct hand washing process, but also by afterwards interviewing the winner. Although human beings are really familiar with hand washing, they probably rarely know about the correct methods, or they even not attach the importance of washing their hands correctly. In this video, germ gel and UV lights were used as the main properties, and audiences are able to directly observe how much bacteria will remain after washing hands with the wrong methods. This viral impact may attract their attention of using the correct hand washing methods in the practice afterwards. Besides, in the winner's interview, the importance of practicing clinical skills in the learning zoo was also emphasized, which may be also valuable to advocate students using the learning zoo more efficiently. Finally, the emotion we want to spread through the video is cheesy, funny, and entertaining. We achieve this mainly by missing scene and also by the performance of the presenter, helper, and the contestants. The second video achieved three out of six contagious characteristics, triggers, practical value, and stories. Firstly, the presenter of the vlog was a young student at University of Liverpool, and it was about her first day as a rookie volunteer at Friend of Williamson's Journal, and this is likely to relate to the main audiences and enable them to know about as well as join in this organization. Secondly, this video also has practical value in recruiting and in raising public awareness of protecting the local heritages. In this particular published video, 
the seasoned volunteer Ted was interviewed, and he mentioned that becoming a volunteer at Friend of Williamson's Tunnel was a great way to explore local history, and it is important for the next generation to engage in protecting their heritages. The video quite clearly demonstrated what can the volunteers actually do, as it introduced three different routines and emphasized what can they get through the volunteer work by the interview. These measures can be effective in attracting young volunteers and attract public attention on the project in any forms. Finally, our video is a one-day vlog about the volunteers' first day at Friend of Williamson's Tunnel, and it has both clear storyline and timeline of how the presenter got to the Friend of Williamson's Tunnel, met the seasoned volunteer, and began her tour, as well as participate in the volunteer work. Our first video was a combination of promotional culture and educational video. According to Organization for Economic and Cooperation Development recognition of non-formal and informal learning, it is a non-formal pedagogical video as a learning objective specifically watching method or taught through the competition rather than well-structured and intentional taught. Meanwhile, according to Guo et al., this particular video belongs to an engaging educational video as it is approximately 3 minutes long and adopted informal style as a game show. The format of the presenter and the contestants speak were mainly a dialogue and they spoke in fast-paced. These factors may also make the video more engaging. Our first video task is promoting the clinical skills learning zone and our aim can be somehow defined as turning the target audiences into the users of the learning zone. From this perspective, it is also commercial video, specifically advertising video. Our second video is a combination of culture and social video. Firstly, in this video, we adopted the culture is ordinary approach set up by Williams in 1958. Our video took the perspective of a fresh young volunteer to explore the front of Williamson's tunnel. In fact, not only the heritage belongs to an important part of Liverpool's culture, but the organization itself and the volunteers have developed their own culture as well. The majority of the current volunteers are not that young, but they insisted on exploring the tunnels for many years without gaining any profits. The culture of this organization can be concluded as a guardian and a wall of civilization and a sense of responsibility for guiding the next generation to protect the heritage. Then not only guarding and exploring culture, but also creating culture with their own behavior for many years. We demonstrate this kind of culture through the presenter's journey to be one of them and through the interview. Secondly, protecting and exploring the local heritage is also a social issue, but not only recruiting young volunteers. An additional aim of our video is to raise the public attention on the project and further advocating for raising their awareness and protecting this heritage. Our group has experienced all of the four stages that Bruce Tuckman proposed forming, storming, norming, and performing. In the very first beginning of Group Project 1, despite Yun Chi and Hannah has cooperated in the team during the previous academic year, all of the other members are not familiar to each other. Throughout the first project, our communication was quite satisfied and effective, and the final version of video was also great. The main problem of the paperwork during this process was that the division of labor was not balanced. Hannah and Rivinci took too much work. At the end of the first project, everyone was extremely busy and demonstrated wearing during our communication. Our group work then moved into the second stage as our communication was not smooth and effective. However, the second project was coming in a really short time. In order to remobilize the enthusiasm of everyone's work, we distribute the work differently in the pre-production procedure, trying to minimize Hannah and Richie's workload for a while. In fact, after a few days of spring break, we went to forming stage and then immediately entered the performing stage. At the end, at that time, everyone knows each other better about what each individual is good at. As a result, the cooperation became more successful and everyone seems quite enjoyable.
of what they do. Hannah was really good performer, so she was always in charge of the presenter's work. She was also the production manager as she was clear about the general style of the each video. I was good at shooting and designing camera position, so I was responsible for holding the camera as a creative director. Minji was quite an expert in editing and she managed the majority work of post-production and she is also the project manager responding to external and internal communication. Yulin and Zihan had strong execution ability, so they were responsible for seeking the background music and other materials we need as researchers. According to Lanzanet's five dysfunction of a team, our main problem was fear of conflict caused by language barriers. We sometimes worry about the accuracy of our meaning conveyed during discussion about a particular problem, so we prefer to make a concession rather than racing to conflict. This did not greatly affect our satisfaction with the work. As it was mentioned before, Yun Qi was the main leader of the two projects. She demonstrated democratic participative leadership as she was amazing in organizing the projects and the members. And she always respected the team members by querying our willingness in labor distribution. Meanwhile, she was also good at making schedule and was able to organize everything going smoothly. In general, it was a great experience working in this group. The key influencers of the first video was both general public, who were not familiar with clinical skills, and the clinical students. And the second video's target audiences were young people in Liverpool. In the social media promotion procedure, we mainly promoted through Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and WeChat. Each of us promoted the video through one or more platforms we used, as we proposed in the social media plan. Although many of us use Sina Weibo daily, it was weak ties to our audiences. Comparing to Weibo, we have more friends who are in Liverpool on WeChat, so we decided to use WeChat as a main channel to promote the video as well. Yulin and Yunqi promoted the video on Twitter using hashtags and mentioned the official accounts of both School of the Arts and School of Medicine at University of Liverpool attracting more views and shares. Unfortunately, School of Medicine did not respond to the tweet. Meanwhile, we divided into two groups to promote it by turns on WeChat twice a day. The second video adopted almost the same strategies as the first one, despite on WeChat. This time, we together promoted it on the first day and the last day, and randomly posted it in the other days. Honestly, this strategy was not as good as the previous one. The first video achieved more than 450 views, and the second one only achieved less than 400. The engagement was also less than the first video. We set 400 views and 80 interactions as our aim for both videos initially, but only the first video exceeded 1400 views, and none of the two had 80 interactions. According to Lindoring's quality scale of user engagement, our first video only reached the middle level of user engagement that they left positive comments only without suggestions. As for the second one, there were some comments mentioned that they were intention to become a volunteer as friend of Blames Internal after watching the video. In general, our video has high quality engagement and the promotion should have been more frequently. creative videos using contagious characteristics and design the genre due to different situations as well as the systematic procedure of producing creative videos. In the future, firstly, I will pay more attention to use the contagious characteristics in the video to make the work more interesting. Secondly, I will further research in the social media promotion to attract more audiences and engagements. Finally, I will improve my teamwork ability in order to do better cooperate with others.